Hey, it's Randall Schwartz back again with another tip or trick or technique about the world of Dart and Flutter. Today I want to cover a subject that I seem to keep repeating over and over again in a lot of places, and that's usually my indication that I need to do a video on it because that means I can just refer to the video. So this one's going to be about running things in multiple threads. In the Dart and Flutter world, that's called an isolate. So an isolate lets you have actual simultaneous execution of things on, for example, separate cores if your machine is so equipped. Originally, back in the early days of Flutter, we had this thing called isolate spawn. And a lot of the literature was built up around that, about how spawn worked. You had this sort of send port, receive port pair that you could send data through and have it be processed by the alternate thread, the isolate and then have that data repackaged and sent back over the virtual wire back to you. Spawn has a lot of options. There's been a lot of literature about it. I'm not going to cover that in detail because that's not the point of this talk. But Isolate Spawn, everybody knows about. So Isolate Spawn was the first biggie. It was awkward to use. You had to do a lot of things like the first thing you sent through the port was the receive port the other end of the receive port so you could get your data back. And you have this protocol of being able to set that up. Lots of steps, lots of boilerplate. So along about two years later, as I can recall, along came the Flutter team producing this thing called Compute. Compute was a top-level function, and its job was to basically do most of the most common boilerplate for you, which is typically... I have a task, I want it to run in isolate. I want it to be on a separate thread, a separate core, so that I do not have it interfering with my user interface updates and things like that. Compute was pretty good, it had its limitations, and the particular limitation I'm gonna talk about with respect to this talk is that it only ran in Flutter. And that's because it was part of the Flutter library, not part of the Dart library. Dart has isolates and you could still use isolate spawn, but compute was not available there because of this weird division between things that are Flutter only and things that are both Flutter and Dart. Well, about a year ago, along came our final and best solution of all, isolate.run. Isolate.run is in Dart, and therefore it's also directly in Flutter. What it does is it takes a function that returns a future and you just say, go do it. And all the parameters are passed over for you. The return value is passed back in the most efficient way for both ends of that conversation. Very, very cool. If you're going to be doing something with isolates and you simply want to offload some tasks to a separate isolate run is your champion. Now, here's what's weird. Lots and lots of literature is written about the first two, isolate spawn and compute. Nobody is writing about isolate run, and that's because it's fairly recent. And I've got to say, it's probably because ChatGPT doesn't know about it. And I'm sad to say that that is influencing way too many of you these days. So I wanted to do this video to get this out here. Hope you enjoyed that. Of course, like this video, click on all the things, subscribe to all the things, turn on notifications, all that sort of stuff. And you can support me on Patreon if you so choose. Instructions are in the show notes. And we'll be back again next time.